More growth is on deck for downtown Raleigh. Today, leaders discussed a plan that could transform the skyline and cost billions of dollars. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ashley Rowe. And I'm Dan Haggerty. So ask anyone who's lived here for 10 years or more. Maybe some of you know this. Raleigh has changed a lot already. More people, more buildings, more traffic. Now it sounds like more change is on the way. WREL's Sean Gallagher was there for the so-called State of Downtown Address today. Sean, one of the big things that stood out was, of course, safety. Yeah, Ashley, that's right. And, you know, there are certain pockets of downtown that have seen more crime than they've ever seen before. Our WRAL data trackers show that uh, the portion of the area around the Go Rally bus station has seen more crime reported in the first seven months of this year than it has since at least 2019 during that same time frame. Now, I spoke to Downtown Rally Alliance President Bill King about this and how their plans plan to take uh, crime and safety into account. Here's what he had to say. When you do come down just to kind of look around and see what's going on, you're having a good experience, right? And so ultimately what that does is it brings people down and there's a safety in numbers. And so, you know, we've been heavily focused on security resources, as you know, with the private security, RPD stepped up. But at the end of the day, we also have to add more things for people to do to create more of that safety in numbers. So tonight's a perfect example of what he's talking about here on activating Fayetteville Street. You can see here behind me the live After Five concert series is well underway. He says that they need more of these nightly types of events to bring people downtown. Those safety and numbers kind of aspect and that idea is what this kind of event represents. Very interesting. Sean, give us an idea of some of the other things that they were talking about in this transformation. Yeah, so they want to create a lot more space downtown for thousands more people to live down here. And with that, give them something to do, having hundreds of restaurants, bars, things like that that can be down here. But it could be very small. They've talked about adding murals or even more outdoor dining options to give those people things to do, make the downtown feel a little warmer. But there's also bigger concepts around connectivity. They want to connect downtown to NC State's campus and also Dix Park. One of the bigger ideas is creating a pedestrian bridge from downtown to Dix Park. It's pretty lofty idea they have there. Yeah, speaking of ideas, you know, it's, a, it's one thing to just talk about it all. Uh, how are they going to get this done, Sean? Yeah, Ashley, uh, today's uh, presentation was more like a rally of all these business leaders, getting them all in the same place and all on the same page so that they can advocate with city leaders that this is what they want done. This is the way that they want to see the downtown go forward. And they feel pretty strongly that they can convince city leaders to do that. All right, Sean, thank you.